Hi, Kim West, the sleep lady, and today I'm going to answer this mom's question. She wrote in and said, my boy is 17 months old. He's great about taking a nap during the day and goes to bed very well about eight every single night, sleeping until seven in the morning. Great news. Um, he sleeps with his blanket and bear and I only let him have binkies at night and at naps. He always wants two binkies, one to hold and one in his mouth. I think he uses one as a lovey and, and I would really like to break him of that. It falls out of his mouth and it knocks out of his crib while he's sleeping. And then he wakes up because he can't find it. We end up going in to get it for him off the floor sometimes two, three times a night. I'd really like to get rid of the binky altogether and help him just love his bear and blanket. Any suggestions? You know, mom, this is a really, uh, really common question. So is, believe it or not, a toddler holding two binkies. Oftentimes I'll hear, you know, one in each hand and one in their mouth. Um, and so the fact that he does that and his blankie is, is very common. Um, so a couple things. One is that to prevent the binky from falling out of the crib, I think one of the best strategies is to get a breathable bumper. Um, so they're mesh and they are still safe and you can put that inside the crib and then it just acts as a barrier so that the binky can't fall out. So that would be, of course, if you're going to keep the binky. And the fact that, you know, uh, he goes to sleep, he only has it at night and nap is good. So let's say again, you're going to keep the binky and you have the bumper on there and he wakes during the night. Your job is not to actually put it back in his mouth. So when you go in there, you say, it's okay, sweetie, it's night night time. And you point to it, there's your binky. And if that feels too cold turkey and he gets really hysterical, then you can take a binky, put it in his hand, but I don't want you to put one in his mouth and one in his hand. So just put one in his hand and say, you know, there's your other binky, there's your blankie, and then start doing less and less each night that he wakes up. So maybe you get to the point where you no longer put it in his hand, but you only point to it and you direct him to it. So you might be saying, yeah, Kim, but I told you that I want to get rid of the binky. <laughs> I'm not avoiding that question. Um, the th reason that I'm bringing up strategies to keep the binky is because this might be a challenging time to get rid of it. This is like really another peak separation anxiety age. He really doesn't have probably a lot of language yet at 17 months, and you might want to wait just a few months until maybe he's like two uh, maybe two and a half so that you can talk to him a little bit better about it. Now, let's say you say, nope, I don't want to wake him. We're done with the banky. We're getting rid of it. So then here's the tough news. It actually just means that you're going to have to put him in his crib without it. There's no gradual way to wean the pacifier because it's either in your mouth or it's not. So that's kind of the bad news. So that would mean, of course, start on a night after a great nap day with his binky, put him in at bedtime without a binky. And you, if you need to, you can do sort of like the shuffle, you know, sitting next to the crib and moving out. You can even keep the binky at naps, believe it or not. Uh, if you find that that's causing a struggle, then you'll have to get rid of it at naps uh, also. So again, I would focus first on night and, uh, and consider maybe keeping it for a little while before you wean it all together. Okay, I hope that helps.